Hi. In today's video, we will talk about how to create vector graphic charts in R using ggplot and then take those charts into PowerPoint and then customize them as you want in, in your PowerPoint. So normal charts are PNG files or JPEG files, which are images, but the vector graphics is different. It has individual components, which you can go and modify in PowerPoint. So let's get started. I would be using these three libraries. So library RVG is important for creating the vector graphics and library officer is used for manipulating the PowerPoint or any other Word document. So let's get started using these three libraries. I'll create a basic plot using the built-in data set MPG. So if I run all the lines, this is what we get. Now intention is to take this chart to a PowerPoint. So I'll give another line of command called any plot. So we are using our plot PL and converting into a GG object. And once we do that, by the way, this command is from this RVG library. So we have uh, another plot called any plot. Now using that any plot, I'm going to use these four commands. So I'm creating a doc file. Um, so basically my doc file is a PowerPoint slide and I'm adding a new slide in there with the title and content and the theme is office theme. Um, and then passing our any plot there and then plotting it in full size. And the name of the file should be the vector graphics.pptx and then finally print the file. So if I run all this code together now, I expect to see a vector graphics PowerPoint yeah. And now you can see the difference that this is a chart which can be edited. I can go and individually change the color of the chart. For example, I can change it to any color. So it's not a picture, it's individual components which you can modify. For example, I can go to the title and then drag the title in the middle, change the font of that or the size of that. even apply the quick styles to that. And then I can choose to color it the way I want. For example, this. And not only this, we can, because each item is a separate entity of its own, you can change it. I can even do transitions or uh, animations with that. So if I want to do uh, animation, so I'm going to the group command and say ungroup. Ungroup is going to ungroup all those elements separately now. And I can apply a transition onto this. For example, I can say that I want to I can apply an animation to that and I can say it'll suddenly appear. And if I run this chart, you would see that a bar over there is missing. When I press the click, it suddenly appears. So you can do something like this as well because um, they are the individual components. And I can also go and change the designs. So I can apply any design onto that and see how nicely the colors change. I can apply the shape to this as well. So going to, I can change the shape, something like this. I hope you like this presentation. Thank you very much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.